get better and better uh, with his with his final ball and his, his his execution in the final third. Delighted for him. Is that a case of United just being too good for you today? I think so on the day, yeah. Um, they were, they were the better team, deserved to win. Um, we, we, we tried, but um, we, we, we didn't play as well as um, the levels that we probably can play at. But I think you've got to credit the opposition as well for, for stopping us as well. So a bit of, bit of both, uh, the disappointing, I suppose, the, despite their dominance, we still had a moment at 2-1 where if we can keep it at 2-1 for a little bit longer, maybe we can, we can do something. But in the end, um, yeah, the, the, the third goal kills it and we can't say anything other than that's the deserved out, outcome. You had four yellow cards in the first half. You couldn't have been very pleased with that, I guess. No, I think it's the, the speed of the game, the speed of the, 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 the attacking players on the pitch for Manchester United. It's, it's not, so, not so easy. You miss time a challenge. It doesn't look so good. Um, we're not a, a, a malicious team, I'd say, but the likes of James and Martial and Rashford, when they nip the ball away from you, it's, um, they, you can mistime them. So um, I think just reflected the, the speed of Manchester United's play. Son James, um, Graham, obviously you gave him his debut. How, how what have you made of his progression here at United? Because it seems to be exceeding expectations. Yeah, delighted for him. I mean, this he's probably this time last year. I don't know he was playing regularly for Swansea. He just goes to show how quickly football changes. But he's a great lad, and his um, his quality to sprint, his, his sprinting ability is sensational, and he can repeat it. And he's so brave, and um, and and he'll he'll get better and better. Uh, with his with his final ball and his, his his execution in the final third, delighted for him. I think it's a big step to go from Swansea to, to Manchester United, but he's looks like he's doing it well. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased for him. Great. What was the thought process at half time with the personnel changes and the, the tweaks in terms of getting back into the game? Um, just to put um, Stephen and and, and um, Solly in the wide areas. Monty was on a yellow card. So we just felt we'd try to attack with a, a bit, bit more width. Um, and then obviously if you're going to attack with width, then it made sense to have Glenn in the box. Uh, Aaron was feeling his groin a little bit as well. So it was a bit of a booking, slight injury, tactical to try to, to, try to get some sort of control in the game because it's so difficult with them. If you, if you turn the ball over so much, then, um, then their attacking threat is, is fast. Obviously, you can come here and lose and play quite well, but do you think players maybe think they didn't themselves do themselves justice on this stage? No, I didn't think we played well today. To be honest, is my is my uh, feeling. Um, I, I, normally, I would, I would say if I felt that, and I think if you ask the players, I don't think they probably felt that they played as well as they would like to. And there'd be, you know, we have to look at that. But again, there's always two teams on the pitch, and it's and, and I thought Manchester United did well today, and they, they they did what they did well, and and we did what we did not so well. And read the bookings, how big a blow Lewis Dunk one? Because I think that's a bad now, isn't it, with Leicester yeah. and Vardy coming up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, um, it's a blow for us because uh, dunky has been great, um, but it's part of football. We have to find another solution, but it, um, which we'll do over the next couple of weeks.